This is a short subtopic. The IB syllabus has just one assessment statement for it. Outline the characteristics of chemical and physical systems in a state of equilibrium. You just need to know what is dynamic equilibrium and what are its characteristics. So, what is dynamic equilibrium? In chemistry, we use the word equilibrium just like it's defined in the dictionary, a state in which opposing forces or influences are balanced. A simple analogy would be a seesaw you might find on a children's playground. When two kids with the same mass sit on both ends, the seesaw is balanced and doesn't move. In this analogy, the balanced kids represent the rates of forward and backward reactions. But what are forward and backward reactions? That's simple. A forward reaction is any reaction going left to right when you write it down. For example, the process of bromine boiling or evaporating. A back reaction is just the opposite reaction going right to left, in this case bromine condensing. An equilibrium is usually shown by using both the left and right arrows at the same time. In our seesaw analogy, when the rates of opposing forward and backward reactions are the same, the seesaw is in balance. And we say the reactions have reached equilibrium, or the system is in equilibrium. So that's the word equilibrium. But what about the word dynamic? If something is dynamic, that means it's constantly changing. Okay, so what's changing? The chemicals in our reactions are. They keep reacting, even in equilibrium. Bromine is still boiling, and it's still condensing. But we don't see it. In equilibrium, it looks like there's the same unchanging amount of liquid bromine and the same unchanging amount of bromine gas. But remember, even a milliliter of liquid has many, 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 many atoms and molecules. And those atoms keep on reacting. In equilibrium, the rates of the two reactions are equal. So, for every bromine molecule that boils, a molecule of bromine is condensing. From our macroscopic view, we don't see any change. So, there you have it. Dynamic equilibrium is when reactions are still going, they are dynamic, but the opposing reaction rates, the rates of the forward and back reactions, are equal, so we see no overall change. By the way, here's what bromine looks like. It's a volatile liquid, so at room temperature, it's already reached an equilibrium between its gaseous and liquid states. All reactions can reach equilibrium because all reactions have forward and back reactions. Our book mentions the formation and decomposition of hydrogen iodide, the formation and decomposition of water, and the reaction between copper and ammonia in aqueous solution. 